Hi, I'm Dylan Cox and this is my Sunday results wrap up. A big night in world boxing last night that started in London at the XL Arena, the home to the Olympic boxing last year. It was a big matchroom bumper bill that was headlined by Kevin Mitchell's defence of an IBF lightweight intercontinental title. Mitchell faced late replacement Kareem El Ugazi, who he stopped in the ninth round. El Ugazi seemed to be complaining to the referee about a bicep injury and at that point Mitchell threw a devastating uppercut that decked his man and gave him the victory. Most of the fights on this card were one-sided affairs with the home fighter getting a pretty easy fight in before Christmas. Apart from Colchester welterweight Lee Purdy who took on European welterweight champion Leonard Bundu. Bundu came with a very good record undefeated and proved to be just that little bit too much for the Colchester man stopping him in the 12th but it was a great fight. The card also saw the return of former IBF bantamweight champion Jamie McDonald's had a tough year. He returned in an eight round contest against Abigail Medina. Abigail yes that is his real name and he struggled over eight but he got the decision on points and hopefully in the new year we'll see him stepping up back into world championship contention because these kind of fights really aren't doing much for McDonald. Also on the card was world rated middleweight Martin Murray who struggled to an eight round points victory over Sergei Kamitsky, a guy he'd previously beat over eight rounds in a very similar fashion a couple of years back. Murray didn't look inspired in this performance and we know he can compete at a much higher level having pushed Sturm and Martin is right to the very edge. Cal Yefire, the 2008 Beijing Olympian, looked good in returning against Ashley Lane, beating him in four over a scheduled six. We also had the return of Anthony Agogo against Nick Blackwell, outpointing Blackwell over six rounds as well. And then in Germany, Jürgen Bremer, former WBO light heavyweight champion, became WBA light heavyweight champion. Although there was another WBA light heavyweight championship fight last night in America. I don't know how that quite works. He defeated Marcos Oliveira over 12 in an up and down fight. It was a very exciting fight. Jürgen Bremer seemed to have his man hurt in the 10th, dropping him, had a big round 11, but then Oliveira came back and had Jürgen Bremer holding on in the 12th, but Bremer got the 12 round unanimous points decision. On the undercard there, Kubrat Pulev, the IBF number one heavyweight, and a lot of people are saying he's the guy who's going to give Vladimir a big test. Well, it didn't look like it last night. He fought Joey Abel, late minute replacement for Sherman the Tank Williams, and he was dropped in the fourth round, shockingly, but then he got up, dropped his man with the body shot, a couple more drop knockdowns in that round from body shots and Abel didn't come out for the fifth round but Pulev showed some vulnerabilities there. And then the big fight of the night from San Antonio, Texas in America. We had Adrian, the problem Broner, the WBA welterweight champion taking on dangerous Argentine puncher Marcos El Chino Maidana. And a great start from Maidana, came out of the blocks quite fast looking to hurt his man, definitely wobbled Broner. Broner didn't look too comfortable with that and in the second round he was dropped hard, got straight away maybe a bit too quickly, looked a bit buzzed but then in the third fourth really the fourth round fifth round sixth round he started to come back into it showed a bit of heart showed a bit of now but Maidana was there throwing beautiful left hooks you know some of these looping shots were landing and it just makes you wonder about Bruno like you know this he does the old shoulder roll defense the old Philly shell but he doesn't have the lateral movement he doesn't have the foot speed he doesn't have the head movement that his mentor and hero Floyd Mayweather does and to class them two in the same bracket is unfair to Floyd because he's just on a different level to Bruno completely and that was spelled out clearly last night and in the eighth round, although Brony was coming back into the fight, Maidana dropped him big with a double left hook it looked like. He went down, he got up and then they had a little few punches thrown and Maidana then hit Brony with his head. In a, it did look like a head but he moved it up similar to what Victor Ortiz did to Floyd Mayweather but the way Brony reacted, it was almost like he wanted it out or at least a point taken off uh, Maidana, which was going to happen anyway, it was an intentional head but the way he milked it, went down, delayed reaction, all this, it was a little bit soft from Brony but to his credit he came back and he tried to come back into the fight but Maidana was just getting off bigger shots and they were the eye-catching shots but Broner did have success with the left hook he was throwing some nice left hooks on the inside got some right hands off but he wasn't busy enough he didn't use his jab enough he was afraid I think that when he was throwing some of those shots he was going to get caught or something wild by Maidana and in the end the judges got it bang on right they gave the decision to Maidana he came away with the victory Broner stormed out of the ring didn't want to do any interviews and then eventually he was actually taken to a hospital I think as a precautionary measure and perhaps for a broken jaw we haven't had any confirmation of that but he looked very downbeat after on the undercard WBA interim light middleweight champion Keith Thurman overcame a very hard first round to stop Jesus Soto Karras in the ninth of their clash. It was a great finish from Thurman. He had his man down earlier in the fight as well. Also on the end of the card, it was another WBA light heavyweight championship fight. This time it was for the super title held by Beibut Shumanov, who stopped very hard and undefeated Tammy Kovacs 
in the third round, a knockout there for Shimonov. So that concludes my Sunday results wrap up for today. Not long till Christmas now. I couldn't include all of the fights on this wrap up obviously because the video would just go on for too long. And don't forget to like, share, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. And I'll see you next week, fight fans. But in the meantime, stay safe.